In this video, we're going to be showing you how to set up your XM Wired TV GT1 streaming media box. First off, after you've take, unpackaged it and you've powered it up, uh, you've, you've uh, connected your HDMI cable from your box to your TV, once you take your remote and power it on, it's going to boot up to this screen right here that you see. This screen is what we call the home screen. Now in this video, we're going to show you how to connect it to the internet and also how to do a speed test to check two things. To make sure that you are connected to the internet and that the speed is fast enough to run the box. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the remote and arrow over to settings. We're going to click, click on network and then we're going to come down here and make a decision. Are you connecting through a Wi-Fi network or are you wireless or are you connecting Ethernet? If you're going to go through Ethernet, just plug in your cable and check the Ethernet box. Now, if you're going to go through Wi-Fi, then make sure you check the Wi-Fi box. You must make sure that both of these are never turned on at the same time. Now, in this example, we're going to connect the Wi-Fi. You'll come down, select your Wi-Fi uh, signal uh, from your internet company, and then you're going to click on it. Now, in this example, I've already got my password and all put in, but I recommend that you, you know, arrow over to your password and then arrow down and say show password. Now, I'm not going to do that in this video, but I would check that box and then once you do that, you're going to arrow back up and put your cursor in the password box and select OK. Then as you'll see, a keyboard will, will come up across the bottom of your screen and you're just going to simply go through there and input your password. Once you've got your password input, you hit the return button. It's an oblong button in about the middle of your remote and it will get rid of the keyboard. Then you can arrow up to your password and then hit the connect now button. Now I'm already connected so I'm not going to hit the connect now button. Now once you've done that you want to hit the return button or actually hit the home button which is right underneath the return button on your remote. It's going to bring you back to this screen, your home screen. Now Folks, 95% of the support calls we have from new users is related to issues in this video. One, they put the wrong password in, they're not connected to the internet, or they don't have a fast enough internet connection to actually use the box. Okay, So what you want to do now is you, you want to do a speed test to make sure you are connected to the internet and confirm how fast your internet is. There's two ways you can do that. First off, if this is your initial setup, you'll probably see our speed test icon right here. Now if that icon is not there, don't worry. All you need to do is arrow up and arrow over to My Apps and hit the OK button. And then just go through the apps until you see the speed test and I'll just highlight it here and then say click OK on your remote. Now this is going to bring up your remote. Now I've already run this test so it says restart test but yours will probably say begin. So what you want to do is down in the bottom right hand corner of your remote is a rectangle button that says cursor. Just simply click on it one time and hit the OK button. And what that'll do is it'll change your cursor from a dash to an arrow and then just simply scroll up or down or right or left until you get to the begin test button. Now I'm just going to hit the restart button here. And as you can see it's running the test. Now this is very important. We're only concerned about your download speed. We do not care about the upload speed. So you'll notice mine says 37,018 kbps. 
if yours is registering in KBPS, you need to make sure it says a minimum of 5,000 and something. A minimum of 5,000 KBPS. If it registers in MBPS or megabits per second, then you need to make sure it simply says 5 megabits per second or greater for the box to work correct. Now, if you have less than 5, we actually recommend 8 to 10. If you're wanting to watch, you know, Super HD, Ultra 4K, 1080p, you're probably going to want to get a minimum of 8 to 10 megabits or 8,000 plus kilobits per second. And what you're going to want to do is if you don't have that, then you might want to get with your internet provider and ask if they can increase the speed on your internet connection. Um, so once you've confirmed that you're, you've got the right download speed, that means you're, you are connected to the internet, you're just going to simply hit the home button on your remote and it'll take you back to the home page here. And with that, that concludes connect the first video of the series of setting up your uh, streaming media box, showing you how to connect it to the internet and doing a speed test.